Hey guys, I'm BTC. This is the Minecraft server. This is the first time I've been on the server since the server updated to the full 1.5. And I noticed a couple of things. First up, they changed how the hoppers look from the top. Before, there was just kind of like a lighting glitch, and now you can actually see it looks like a hopper. Hoppa. And also, I did come over here and check, and the baby cows most certainly do fit through that one block area now. However, it doesn't quite work. I need I need to fix it. I need to move the hopper, hoppa, up one, and then the baby cows should sit right there. And when they turn to adult cows, they should burn up and die, and the, the yummy, delicious cooked steak will fall. And also the leather will fall. Right now these guys are just kind of roaming. They're hide they're hiding underneath there. That's kinda of funny. Say no, they're just they're a leather jacket waiting to be had. Alright, anyways. So since today is Wednesday, heavy topic. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to do this for as long as I can. I have a whole bunch of questions already. And I'll use those and then when I run out I'll ask for more. Um, or maybe, you know, I'll just come up with stuff on my own or whatever, but so Heavy topic Wednesday and then or serious Wednesday or whatever and then on Thursday I do the follow-up so today while I am doing uh, the discussion I will try to work on this a little bit and It's probably gonna be very minimal in the way of of actual productiveness because when I try to tell a story I end up doing a lot of this which is just wandering around so today I'm gonna talk about my sister and the the issues that she has and uh, some of the, the challenges she's had and, and yada yada um, I know a lot of people want to hear me talk about why I joined the army, and I'm getting to that, but I'm, I'm not quite ready to, to tell that story yet, so, um, and because there's some other stuff attached to it, um, that, uh, I'm kind of building up to. So anyways, alright, I'm going to get, uh, the materials that I need for this. And I actually need some more sticks. So, my sister... Um, I'm not going to give real names or anything, but, um, oh, actually, I already have one. Uh, my sister was born well after uh, my brother and I. Uh, I have two siblings. Uh, I have a younger brother um, who actually just turned 30 um, yesterday, actually. And I also have a sister who is only 24. So a little bit of a little bit of uh, an age gap uh, among us and and I'm I'm the eldest at 32. Um I'm going to need more than that. My sister was born with well, she was born premature first of all. And she was born um, with a ton of different problems. Um, they didn't think she was going to actually live uh, for more than, I think, two weeks was what they said. Something like that. And, at, you know, at the time I was pretty young and I really didn't understand a lot of this, but... Um, she let's see what were her what were her issues she was significantly underweight her skull hadn't fully um hardened well it hadn't fully uh not hardened because the baby's skull doesn't harden until after um a, a little while after they've been born um but there's the the spot on the top of your head and i'm, I'm like pointing to the top of my head like, as if you guys could see it. Um, there's a, a, a point on the top of your head where all of your um, skull parts 
come together. Yeah, that, that sounds so, so scientific. The skull parts. Where the skull parts come together. And that didn't fully harden for her. Um, in fact, even to this day, it's still, you know, uh, it's still a, a vulnerability for her. Um, where, um, it, you know, it never really f developed properly. Um, in fact, there's actually a bald spot on her head. And I keep pointing to my head as if you guys can see it. And I totally just did that wrong. Um, see what I mean? I can't, I can't tell a story and talk at the same time. Um, so even to this day, there's still a bald spot there. And it will probably be like that, or it will be like that for the rest of her life. I'm just going to make all of these. Uh, she also had uh, quite quite a few other issues. Um, there was a, a tumor on the, the bridge of her nose um, that had to be removed um, a little bit later on. Um, she also um, had some deformities in her hips. Um, she didn't walk until she was like two and a half, almost three, I think. So she was you know, definitely way older than, than uh, most kids for walking. Um, she had problems with her, with her, um, her ears, uh, the, the, um, uh, I don't know exactly how to, how to explain it. She actually had to have tubes put in her ears for, until she was like 10, 11 years old, something like that, um, in order for her to, um, properly hear and to, um, uh, not get infections and stuff. She used to get really, really bad ear infections. Um, she also, um, oh man, she also had problems with her, well, she, or her, her muscle control. Um, she, she has all right muscle control. Um, and, and finer, uh, muscle control, like, you know, she can, the funny thing is, is nowadays she can, you know, she can work a, a DVD player and, and everything better than my father can. Um, but, you know, growing up, she, she had some, some issues. Um, I need some redstone. She, let's see. She is completely mute. Um, she has no ability to talk uh, at all and uh, we tried to to teach her sign language but unfortunately the difficulties with um, the motor control uh, made it so that sign language was impossible um, we oh, let's see what else um, she does have uh, some a uh, 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 a slightly limited um, amount of um, uh, what do you call it um, learning ability and again th these are things that that she's gonna have forever uh, all of these things together um, equal up into the I don't know uh, syndrome uh, because that's basically what the the doctors uh, came up with. Like they they literally don't know uh, what is wrong with her. Um, she has uh, so many different things um, that are are um, are complicating uh, her life. That um, there, there's really no there's really no name for it. And uh, the doctors pretty much, like I said, just said, I don't know. Uh, and that's, that's basically, uh, <laughs> basically what, uh, what she's got. Now, she has lived a, a pretty good life. Um, she is, like I said, she's in her early mid twenties and, um, she, she probably lives a better life than most people. 
um, for the simple fact that she doesn't she doesn't know or understand all the problems that are going on. Uh, she has the mentality of about um, about a uh, you know a, a six seven year old something like that. Um, so she doesn't you know she doesn't uh, understand things like um, bills and and you know. Uh, having to go to work and all those other things. I mean, she does, she does quote, work. She goes to a, a daily thing um, provided um, for people with disabilities um, and uh, her types of situation. But it's not, it's not really work. Um, you know, they, like, they put, they put things in envelopes and stuff like that. So it's, it's not, you know, it's not overly complicated. It, there's nothing... Um, there's nothing uh, um, really high tech about it in any way, shape, form, or fashion, and you know they get paid um, basically minimum wage um, because the idea isn't to to really you know give them um, uh, money. The idea is to give them something to do and um, a way to participate um, because she does get. Um, uh, a small amount of money um, from um, you know the the state and federal and what have you um, as being a person on on disability uh, because she she could not possibly live on her own so she actually lives with my mother um, and she will continue to live with my mother on uh, for the rest of her life um, now as I said earlier you know she she was uh, not supposed to live for for more than two weeks, and um, she's doing pretty good. Um, you know, a couple years back, uh, she had to go in for um, some more hip surgery stuff, um, but other than that, um, you know, her physically, uh, she's fine. Um, she uh, has no problems with you know any of the major organs, you know. Um, Lungs are fine, uh, heart is fine, all that good stuff. Um, so she's, you know, she's perfectly healthy. Oh, that's actually another thing um, that I didn't really mention. She is physically smaller than a normal person. Um, she, um, she's not a midget. And she's not a dwarf. She's like a normal person, just shrunk down a bit, like. Uh, it's it's hard to explain, um, and and I know that's kind of what you know. The, the, a lot of people think of like uh, midgets and dwarves and stuff like that, um, but she's thin, like I don't know. You'd have you'd have to see her, and her head is actually also slightly smaller than it should be proportionally for her her body. Um, she so she's. She's like five, five, um, five, two, five, three, something like that. So she's not a midget um, or, or a dwarf or anything. Um, but, you know, proportionally, her body just, it seems like she's, she's smaller than she should be. And a lot of that stems from the fact that her head um, is, is a little bit smaller. Anyways, so... Um, uh, why am I telling you about this? Well, because I know that there are, um, you know, there, I had my problems growing up in, in, in school. Um, but thankfully, um, my sister did not. Uh, my sister, um, wasn't really seen that often by my most kids because she, uh, you know, with special needs and she was always in those classes. But my sister was actually, she wasn't popular, but... Like everybody liked her, um, you know, the the people that you know the the jerks the the whatever uh, kind of kind of people, um, they didn't really you know, they didn't care one way or the other about her, but most you know the teachers and the students and everybody they everybody all liked her, um, and she uh, didn't have any problems, um, thankfully, um, you know she she never. Um, uh, she never um, got picked on or anything like that. Um, 
I do remember one time, um, maybe I was in like sixth or seventh grade, and someone um, kind of said something like half-hearted about her, and I got pretty pretty teed off. You know, people people pick on me, and you know, obviously it wasn't fun, but I didn't. You know, it was it was like meh, whatever. I, I dealt with it, but my sister was effectively defenseless, and that's one thing that I never tolerated and and and, uh my brother also wouldn't tolerate and i don't care you know who picked on me they knew they knew the one way to set me off and to um to probably put themselves in some danger of getting getting a knuckle sandwich uh would be to say something um about my sister and um you know, one time someone did that, and I, I, I put the uh, the the fear of God in him, so to speak, and uh, that that was it. Never heard, never heard it again. Um, but you know, uh, like I said, she she grew up um, pretty pretty happy, um, uh, pretty healthy. Uh, again, you know, she does. She has those issues, and those issues will be with her for um, the rest of her life. Um, but you know, the thing is, is she, like I said, she she probably lives a better life than most of us because she doesn't understand all the all the problems. You know, she comes. She every day she gets up, she goes to uh, work. Um, does, you know, whatever. And then she comes home and she watches her, her DVDs. And she has got a massive collection of DVDs. Uh, I'm talking like, you know, um, Disney stuff, Barney stuff. Because she, remember, she's, she's got the mentality of like a six or seven year old. So she watches all that stuff. And... Man, she has got so many DVDs. I can't, I can't tell you how many times. Like growing up, I can't tell you how many times um, she uh, she would watch the same thing over and over. And I know a lot of kids do this, but man, same thing over and 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 over again. And man, wow all the time um, and that's that's kind of what she does now uh, for her 21st birthday um, everybody went to uh, Disney World um, I didn't because I was still in the army at the time and um, I, I was away but everybody went to Disney World and for her it was one of the best experiences of her entire life um, because when she met these people, for her, they were real. Like uh, Mickey, Minnie, and, and uh, Barney and stuff, um, you know, they, they weren't just, they weren't just, um, people in suits. I mean, I know a lot of kids are like that too. You know, they don't understand the difference, but even her at 21, you know, she didn't, she didn't know for her, they were real. And she got to like meet Barney and, um, she was crying and, and, um, uh, you know, people, people could tell, um, you know, you can tell right away that she's special needs and, you know, they, they, they gave her, uh, you know, a little bit extra attention and stuff. And, um, it was like the greatest experience of her life, and uh, um, she still watches all that stuff. Although, if you ask her now, it's like, do you want to go back to Disney World? She's a, she like shakes her head no. Um, as I said, she's mute and she can't talk, so um, she has to communicate in other ways, and. Um, most of that basically involves her shaking her head yes or no or pointing. Um, but even though she liked it so much, she's she doesn't want to go back uh, because the plane 
uh, trip and, and all that stuff was kind of a pain. So, um, but so uh, people wanted to know about my, my family a little bit more. Um, so that, uh, that that's my my sister. It's not too too much to say about my about my brother. He um I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about him in another episode or something. But I wanted to talk about uh, my sister simply because um you know for for a lot of people it's difficult having having um, someone with special needs in the family um, because there are a lot of extra things that you have to, to take into account and and um, you have to take care of them. It can get expensive. Oftentimes it involves a lot of um, operations and, and things like that. And, um, uh, you know, um, I, I just wanted to, to share that, that part of my life uh, with everybody. Um, and you know if you have um someone with special needs in your life um you know i uh i know it can be i know it certainly can be difficult um but you know they're they're really um they're really great people um and the thing with them is you know they uh, for the most part um people like my sister are are just they're incapable of being mean like my my sister, I I can't I don't think she's ever been mean to anyone ever. Like and and that's you know not an exaggeration. I I just I don't think she's been mean to people. Um, I don't think she has the ability to to be honest. And I remember uh, when we would go to um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we would go to like the McDonald's play place and stuff like that, she would not um, push or shove like the other kids would. Um, in fact, the exact opposite. She would um, patiently wait while all the other kids were misbehaving. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's, I, I thought it was kind of uh, kind of funny that the, 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 the little girl with special needs is the one that was the most well-behaved kind of kind of funny how that works so um i think uh i think that's probably about it though um um i i know that i mean this this video hasn't really been about me but it's still something that's a, a big part of my life I guess um, so you know I kind of I hope you enjoyed hearing about that and you know if uh, if you do feel uh, the desire to, to help people uh, with special needs there are a lot of, of really good um, uh, charities and, and organizations um, that you can look into um, that uh, a lot of a lot of good work um, fumbling around here so um, but I think I think I'm gonna end this one here um, thank you for watching remember always always blame the controller because it's never your fault hey guys you might know that I run a minecraft custom map making build team and we are currently looking for new people. So if you're good at building, making textures, or animating with programs like Blender or Maya, why don't you apply? You can go to blamethecontroller.com or click the link in the description.